This is one of my favorite core exercises, the kettlebell windmill. What makes this such a great exercise is that you're using your hips and your shoulders together. We have to keep in mind that our shoulders and our hips are connected via the spine. Some of the most effective exercises for strengthening the core use the hips and the shoulders together. Now, here are a couple things to pay attention to when doing this exercise. Number one, if you're wearing a watch on your left wrist, turn it around so the watch face is on the inside. Number two, use your hips to get up above your to get the weight up above your shoulder. Here's the main thing: we want to keep the spine long. Our spine stays straight throughout the entire movement and we push back with the hips. I'll talk about the feet in a second, but you want to punch your arm up in the air, keep that arm straight. This is great for the triceps because your triceps are extending that elbow. As you punch your arm up, you want to push back into your hips. So what you're trying to do is create distance from your hip up to your hand. You want to squeeze that kettlebell as tight as you can. Because here's a little thing. The tighter your grip, the more you activate the muscles to stabilize the spine. I'm showing you this from a couple different angles so you can really learn the benefits of this exercise. Push it up. For my feet, I'm keeping my feet parallel. If I'm using my right shoulder, my right arm, I'm pushing my right foot back a little bit. And as I hinge back, look up at your hand. Looking up at your hand will help your spine stay straight. You can take the other hand and track it on the inside of your leg to make sure you're tracking all right. So you want to push back into the hip as you punch that arm up into the air and keep that grip tight. The benefits of the kettlebell windmill are you getting your glutes, your shoulder and those oblique muscles, plus keeping your spine straight, you're working all the deep spinal stabilizers like the transverse abdominis and the lumbar multifidi. Again, you want to move from the hips, keep that spine long, and to increase the activation of the core, squeeze the heck out of that handle. Now for extra credit, you can hold the kettlebell in a bottoms up position. Hold that kettlebell in an inverted position uses a lot more grip strength. Again, the tighter your grip, the more you activate the muscles to stabilize the spine. Really work on squeezing that handle. Keep the knees bent, push the hips back, and keep the eyes on the weight. And now, the final benefit about doing the windmill is as you can hear my breath get, me get a little bit out of breath, the final benefit of doing the windmill is because you have so many muscles involved, it's a great calorie burner. We burn about five calories of energy to use one liter of oxygen. Anytime an exercise uses more muscles, you consume more oxygen and you burn more calories. Whew. If you want to learn more about core training, you can buy my ebook, Functional Core Training, or do my CEC course, Total Body Core Training. Both will teach you everything you need to know to strengthen the muscles that control your spine, your hips, and your shoulders.